Having a tattoo can scare the people around you. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm a trainee, a professional Japanese teacher. So, is it okay to have a tattoo in Japan and what having a tattoo means in Japan? It has a history about getting tattoo means, so let's take a look. So, tattoos in Japan, it's becoming accepting, but still, they're stubborn, so it's not completely okay. And like I talk about having beers in Japan, it has a history related to samurai. First of all, the history of tattoo is really old. The tattoo culture was already existed before BC 400. But we want to know what's having a tattoo in Japan like. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have a tattoo, you're gonna scare them. Let's begin to dig in the part of history why they're scared of tattoos. Samurais, which is like a private family army, has each family symbols. Like they saw the symbols on their clothes or flags, they saw the symbol on their body. In case they died from a battle, they can retrieve their body because when samurais kill other samurai, they need a proof that they killed the right opponent. Dead body without a creepy head? They don't know whose body is, so they need the symbol on their body. And by the way, they bring the opponent's head to the government or other large samurai families to prove that they killed the right one and exchange the head to the money or honor or promotions. So in Japanese, there's a specific word, shoukin kubi. Reward, neck. It makes sense, right? I mean, the word, not the part turning in their head. So how does that connect to the current culture that we are talking about? So now you got the part that they kind of needed to have a tattoo. They need to prove that they're from a samurai family. So what if you bumped into a person who's from murderer family? That's scary. So they did the same thing, showing their tattoos to scare them and like bossing around or maintain orders. And time is passed, they're making a transition to this culture. Tattoos were used for other meanings. There's a job title called Hobi, and they worked as police, sometimes firefighters, and also constructors. When they build houses, they need to take off kimono to work comfortable. They were wearing underwear that called kundoshi, like you see from sumo wrestler. They're almost like naked, and they wore some sort of ink clothes. Yes, that's a tattoo. And they also worked as police or firefighters, so they're like heroes of the civilians. So having a tattoo is considered as cool in that time. In the middle of this Edo period, people who commit to a crime get punishment such as chop off their pinky fingers or their ear or nose. The people say that's brutal. So instead, they tattooed on their faces or arms to make the criminals ashamed of what they did. And depends on how bad or how many crimes they committed, they get specific design of tattoos so that police knows what they did or how many times they're caught. And depends on the area, there are some variety of tattoo designs. And by many samurais are busy to leave their offsprings. These facts are told child to child. New era has came and become a new culture. And we still use the word hobby for constructors or irezumi. It stands for put in sumi ink or this word. Horimono. It's carved thing. Those make sense, right? So, if you learn Japanese, I encourage you to learn from basic kanji and words. So, all you have to do is combine those basic kanji to make a word that relates to the meaning of the kanji. 
Simple. So here's the question of the day. Do you have a tattoo? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. ありがとう。